Okay. So, for the Advanced Tux Engine, what you're going to want to do is download the release I have. Right here, I will link this in the description. It's on my GitLab. Advanced Tux Engine releases. Download the zip and extract it. I have the file right here, and this is what it's going to look like. So there's two things you're going to want in here. One is a folder called Text Engine, and the other is Dist. Dist has the Python tool. You want to open this exe, right? And it was something like this. This is what you're going to use to build the strings. So I already have some example ones set here. I have bomb on battlefield text. So what you want to do is you can just write whatever, and then you can hit this. It'll highlight some um, the special commands. So I just have bomb on battlefield test here, and then I have the commands for the various text things. Um, I have a tutorial already on how to use this and how to, like what each command does. This is gonna be more about just building it. So, when you have your string ready, you're gonna to wanna to hit, well, you wanna make sure it's saved, right? And then you have a path, and then you wanna hit export to bin. So, what that's going to do is that's going to make a file inside this directory with the text that the text engine is and called just the file of this bob.txt.bin and that's going to be important. So once you have that, you're going to want to open the files in the text engine. Right, the files we're going to be using is the text engine build and then the strings files. So um, just f and they're labeled by the course name. So we have one for each course. Uh, for this example, we're going to be using Bomb on Battlefield and Global. I already have them open. So for the build file, it's already sort of configured how I do it. But basically, you're going to want to define these locations to store the information. And if you don't know what this is, you can read through it. It'll tell you all the stuff. But basically, what's important is here. This will tell you if you want to use the banks. So I want to use globals. I want a string, or to be able to use it in every level. And I want ones specific to bomb on battlefield. So then you just put a one here to find that. And then you put where in the ROM you want it. So for example, I have this set up to 200, 000, 000, 000, 000. And then once you have this set up or your uh, location set up for where you want your strings, you just gotta, these are the only ones you have to change ever. Um, by default, they're Everything's already configured in a way it'll, it, where it will work. Just these have to be changed to match what you want. So now we have to go into these files, the global one and the bomb, bomb on battlefield shrink. So what you do in these files is you just write down the name of the strings that you exported. So I hit export to bin and I have, if I check the folder, Alright, I have this file, bob.txt.bin, and I have some other ones I wrote for testing test123 and second test. So you just write the exact name here, right? And if I want to add a third one, right, you just increase the number. So, for example, I could put a third string here. I write a two, and then I do just write the name, bob. Um, and then you just gotta do the same thing for each section. Just two. String two. String two start. 
And that's very simple. So you just save it. And you need to set, I already have this one set up for Bomb on Battlefield. And that's all you have to do. I have a test ROM set up. It's just a ROM manager ROM. I have where I lock slots uh, load into Bomb on Battlefield. You want to open up RMIPS. Browse for the ROM. I have this as test copy. That's my ROM. And I want to assemble text engine build. You hit assemble. And that's about it. In Quad 64, I'm going to show you how you can set up your objects for the text engine. So, it comes with a bunch of objects already configured, and they use tables, as you may guess from here, from these files, where it just, you define the string number, right? String 0, string 1, right? String 0, 1, 2, 3. So, if you want to use a level specific one, you put bparam1 as 1, and then bparam4 is the table index. So I want index 0, this will be my bomb on battlefield specific one, and this is the global one I have set up, index 0. Um, for the behavior, that is defined inside text engine build right here say where I want the behavior to be. There is a bunch of different objects for each of the different model. You got uh, Dory's, Scuttlebugs, uh, Bamoms, Koopas. Um, you're going to have to look into in the ROM where exactly each one of those are. And that's simply because I couldn't find out a way to write it, write it that to a file. So anyway, I'm going to launch this just to show how easy that was. I went through that really quickly, but that is actually all you have to do. So I have this one for globals. Just talk to them. had some test stuff I did for recent um, new features. I got some texture printing to the screen. And then here, he should say bomb on test. Bomb on battlefield test. And that's all you have to do. It's a lot simpler than it used to be. I hope you enjoy it.